the 2017 BMW 640i Grand Coupe. Now, this is a grand touring sedan for those who think perhaps the Audi A7 and the Mercedes-Benz CL class are, well, just not expensive enough. I'm Jay, and welcome to this latest episode of Carbo's Unboxing Reviews. Before I get started, I want to thank Nilo BMW, which is part of the Nilo company, for letting Carbo's come down and film this for you today. So, the BMW 640i Grand Coupe. Gorgeous sedan inside and out, and... I want to tell you all about it because, in my opinion, this is the most beautiful car BMW makes today in terms of being a little bit more of a mainstream car, meaning it's not an all-right or all-out exotic car. But then again, you can get the Grand Coupe as the M6 high-performance model. But this is actually the base model, the 640i. And when I get to pricing, well, there's nothing really base model about it. So just to give you a brief history of this car, the 6 Series Grand Coupe, it was first unveiled in early 2012 and it was basically a direct response to the Mercedes-Benz CLS class and the Audi A7, the S7, and even the Porsche Panamera. Basically, Mercedes-Benz took its E-Class and turned it into the CLS class, meaning they just took a sedan and gave it four-door coupe styling. It looks sleeker and sexier and suddenly became the next big thing in luxury sedan. So the German automakers, as they always do, they just copied each other. And this is BMW's result. And like I said, they just did a killer job. Now, just so that you know, the 6 Series, it's based on the same platform as the 5 Series sedan. Uh, and yes, the 6 Series is also sold as a coupe and a convertible. Just think of this as also a stretched version of the 6 Series coupe. And from the moment you step inside this thing, it's it, it, it's unbelievable that this is the base model. Everything about this is luxurious. It's premium. This interior, it's covered in black Dakota leather with gray poplar wood trim. If you can kind of tell, I know the leather is kind of dark, but yeah, that's all real wood trim there. You have ambient lighting. Ah, oh, yeah, there's that wood trim right on the door there absolutely gorgeous but yeah like i said ambient lighting 10.2 inch high-res screen head-up display dynamic digital cluster 10-way power front seats with four-way lumbar and a driver's seat in memory such a gorgeous car now going into the rear seat space here because it's based on the 5 series sedan platform it's rear wheel drive and there's a bit of a disadvantage to the 6 series grand coupe uh, because it has that sleeker, kind of sexier four-door coupe styling, headroom is kind of lacking, uh, especially in the rear. So if you're really tall, you're going to you're gonna notice that. And this car, it, it, like I mentioned in the beginning, it's meant to be just a, a Grand Tour in every sense. Uh, the 6 Series Coupe and Convertible, the Grand Touring uh, high performance and high luxury sports cars and that this is literally just the stretch version of that at least of the coupe and if you've ever been inside a modern bmw i will say this at first it might be a little intimidating because there's just a lot of buttons on the dash but that's okay here i i, I think this overall design it, it looks really good and once you figure it out it's actually very very easy here now this is the standard transmission here it is an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters it is the only gearbox offered here but i'll get to that in a few more minutes because i want to tell you about this this is the latest version of iDrive it's iDrive 5.0 it is basically as bmw describes it it is wireless integration of apps like spotify and pandora it's got enhanced graphics this new iDrive controller that you just saw there and a navigation system that actually learns your frequently driven routes and I will say this about iDrive 5.0, it is really finally gotten to be the infotainment system it always needed to be when iDrive first came out in the beginning of, let's say, 2001, 2002. It was confusing and not anymore. I think uh, BMW has just really nailed this system down. And to BMW's credit, they were one of the first to decide that, look, it, we need to create infotainment systems. We're going to use a rotary dial to control it. Very difficult to figure out at first, but they've just evolved it over the years. And, you know, 15 years later, this is what you get. Now, just so that you know, when I did a recent unboxing review of 
the brand new Audi A4, it debuted technology in terms of its infotainment system that was even beyond this. This is a 10.2 inch screen. For an example, the Audi is a 12.3 inch screen and it's got two actually 12.3 inch screens, one in, on the central dash and one the driver's gauge cluster, which BMW doesn't have that quite yet. But of course you do get this quad zone climate control, two up front, two in the rear. Yes, this again, the base model six series Grand Coupe quad climate control, not bad. Now, like I mentioned, these buttons, I think they're maybe a little small. Uh, they could be a little hard to find when you're driving if you're unfamiliar with the car, say it's brand new, but give it some time, you'll figure it out pretty quickly. Now, this uh, this particular 640i, it has a lot of extra features, uh, and they're pretty expensive. For example, this is the M Sport Edition. They cost an extra $5,300, but you do get soft close, automatic doors, power rear uh, sunshade, sunshade, rear sunshades, front ventilated seats, multi-contour seats, that uh, quad zone climate control, ceramic controls, and a Harman Kardon surround sound system. Now, other standard bits you get in this, again, the base model, you get a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot and standard wireless charging. You also have a moonroof, and the instrument panel is covered in leather. So, yeah, this is just a pure luxury sedan or a four-door coupe, if that's what BMW prefers to call it. So, all right, so I want to talk to you a little bit more about some of the safety here. Uh, you know, I don't think people are going to buy this well because it has all these really cool advanced safety features, but it's still good to know. You get standard four-wheel ventilated ABS disc brakes with dynamic brake control, dynamic stability control with brake fade compensation, active front headrest, active knee protection, and a rear view camera. Now this is kind of cool, uh, it's a BMW feature that's called Active Cruise Control with Stop and Go and it basically it uses radar to maintain a safe distance between you and the vehicle ahead. So if you're in danger of say a collision, you'll receive a visual alert and the brake activation function will engage the brakes automatically. That's pretty cool and you know it, it's high tech and advanced and expensive right now but I would say give it five years and you're going to start seeing Features like that on more mainstream cars that are, well, not luxury. Ah, uh, there's that rear sunshade. And, you know, I think it's a really cool feature. I remember those only used to be on, like, say, like, Rolls Royces and Bentleys and Maybox, but now 6 Series Grand Coupe. And it also part of the M Sport package for an extra $1,300, you have that uh, three-spoke uh, steering wheel there. A little sportier than the standard one. I think it looks great. And no matter your height, you're supposed to be able to find a very comfortable driving position here. Remember, this is a BMW the ultimate driving machine, and you're very much getting that, but you're going to pay for it. I'll get to that soon, too. So how does it drive? Well, first off, this car, it has the M Sport suspension, just to give it a sporty feel, but mostly, again, this is a Grand Tour, and it just has a very confident ride. That's also thanks to what BMW calls this dynamic damper control, and that adjusts the shock absorbers from their softest to their firmest settings, thus ensuring a smooth ride and fluid handling. Now, yeah, that'll happen even during changes in vehicle speed, load weight, and various driving and road conditions. This is one of those cars that I really believe you're going to have the most fun in when you're the driver. Um, the rear seat passengers, as you can see, yeah, you do have your own climate control. That's really cool. But it's kind of a tight fit in the, in, in the rear. Yeah, there's enough leg room, but headroom is, it, it is a bit lacking. If you really must have all the extra headroom you need, uh, perhaps you should upgrade to the flagship 7 Series sedan, uh, or even, you know, the the, the, BM, the standard BMW 5 Series sedan as well. Now, what's kind of cool is that BMW offers some really cool uh, services for its customers. For an example, 
you can get this car right here with what BMW calls its concierge services. It's basically something that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you just have to press a button on the dash that connects to you directly to your personal assistant. I'm not joking. And say if you need to know the, you know, the nearest branch of your bank, you're looking for a specific restaurant, or you're looking for the, the, the store closing of your, you know, your pharmacy. That service will provide an answer to all those questions and a lot more, and they'll, it's just free of charge. It's a part of the experience. It's just all about practical information and just to make your journey and just your BMW ownership experience even better. And yeah, look, look at the trunk here. It's plenty big, 16.2 cubic feet of trunk space. It's kind of nice when this car, since it's sedan based to begin with, you're going to get a big trunk. And I, I think that's important considering, again, I'll get to price. This is an expensive car. You should be able to get plenty of luggage in there. You also have 60-40 split folding rear seats. Um, yeah, I get, you know, that that's really good. I wouldn't want to put a lot of, I don't know, stuff from the hardware store in this car just out of fear of it you know scratching or damaging the leather but say i don't know a pair of skis or something like that they'll fit now personally i don't know if i would go with this dark dakota leather it it, it, it just it makes the interior a little darker and it feels more closed in than it, it, it really is. I mean, and yeah, you are lacking some headroom here, but uh, personally, I would go with maybe a tan or a cream color interior for this car. I just think it would be nice to brighten it up. Okay, under the hood. Now, this is, again, the base engine. 3.0 liter turbo inline six, 315 horsepower, which is available at 5,800 RPM, and 330 pound-feet of torque available at 1,400 RPM. As I mentioned, it's paired to an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters and sends power to the rear wheels. Now, you can get this car, the BMW 640i xDrive, xDrive meaning all-wheel drive. Costs extra, but if you want all-wheel drive, it's available to you. But let's start this engine up here because uh, BMW makes great sounding engines. Okay, performance, zero to 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles per hour. Now, again, this is all the base model here and the next level up Get this, it comes with a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 with 445 horsepower and a four and a half second zero to 60 time. That's the 650i. You can also get the 650i xDrive. Again, xDrive means all wheel drive. They don't let you forget that you're driving a Grand Coupe. It's written right there. Now this exterior, now notice that black kidney grill. That doesn't come standard. To have the black kidney grill, extra 240 bucks. Welcome to buying a BMW. They charge for every little thing. This car, its exterior is called black sapphire metallic. It's got adaptive LED headlights, LED fog lights, power folding, uh, heated side mirrors. Again, that's all standard. And also a part of the M Sport package along with, uh, you get these 20 inch wheels with performance tires. That M steering wheel I previously mentioned, aerodynamic kit, and the anthracite Alcantara headliner inside. See, I think this car looks stunning in black from the outside, but the inside, I, I think, again, like a beige, tan, or a cream color would have been a better choice, just a better contrast. So let's talk the competition. Now, as I previously mentioned, you have the Audi A7, you have the uh, Mercedes-Benz CLS class, both those start in the high $60,000 range, and they top off to about the mid $70,000 ranges, depending on the features and the various trim levels. Now, then there's the Porsche Panamera. That starts at about $80,000 and goes well over two hundred dollars And the pricing for this, well, get ready for it. The base 640i, again, 
Base model starts at $79,800. Now, as tested, this car right here with all those features I told you, plus a $995 destination fee, grand total $87,785. Wow, that is a lot of money for a car. I mean, look, it looks great. I love this exterior styling. Like I said, I think this is the best looking sedan BMW currently makes. It's beautiful. But then again, you're, spend, you're spending almost $90,000 for, it's a great engine, but it's still considered the base engine. That's just, I don't know, that's a lot of money to me. Now, if you really want to spend money, you can go for the M6 Grand Coupe. Again, that's BMW's high-performance M division. But that car, it starts at $117,500. But then again, it has a 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8 shared from the M5. So what do I like about this? First off, it looks stunning inside and out, and you can get all-wheel drive as an option. What don't I like? Well, it's expensive. And the options are expensive too, and it just it, it's lacking just headroom in the rear and even the front as well. And I don't know, I, I that for some people I can understand how that could be a make or break deal. Now, for the record here, BMW has just unveiled its all new next generation five series. That means there will be, hopefully, a next generation 6 Series Coupe, Convertible, and Grand Coupe that you see here. And when the next generation comes out, I am sure it is just going to be jam-packed with a lot of technology. And it's going to give the next generation Audi A7, which is also on the way, a run for its money. Now, the Porsche Panamera, that is just a stunning car, and I think BMW is going to really want to push the next generation 6 Series Grand Coupe as a real Porsche Panamera fighter. But I'm out of time for today. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you have any more questions for me, just leave them in the comments section below. Any suggestions for future unboxing reviews, also leave those in the comments section. And be sure to subscribe to the CarBuzz Unboxing YouTube channel, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.